Let's see what we can see. It's time for the Cooper Group's road trip to Little Falls. We're traveling in a new 2007 Kia Sorento, now with a larger engine, more horsepower and touring capacity, and improved fuel efficiency. It looks cool, too. The city of Little Falls developed on the banks of the Mohawk River and is where America's oldest cheese market evolved. Herkimer and Oneida County businesses and farmers were first to adapt the factory system to a branch of agriculture, making Herkimer cheese world famous, and Little Falls became the leading cheese maker in the U.S. Today, Little Falls is a recreation lover's dream. With boating on the canal, beautiful architecture to tour, and a fascinating history to explore. To see. We visit the Little Falls Museum, located in what was the first bank in Herkimer County, and now home to the Little Falls Historical Society. Let's see what we can see. It's time for the cool. While you're in Little Falls, make time to find the Little Falls Historical Society and Museum. You can spend hours here because it is just filled with history. It's like you're living it when you walk through those two front doors of what used to be a beautiful bank. The things you're going to find in here are so fascinating. The original land grant from 1755 from King George II is hanging on the wall. When you're looking at it, be sure to ask one of the volunteers about the holes in the, the land grant. Check out the cheese exhibit, because the fact of the matter is that Little Falls was the cheese capital of the United States. As a matter of fact, when President Andrew Jackson was inaugurated, they shipped 16,000 pounds of cheese from Little Falls to Washington. Not only are there Herkimer diamonds in this area, but there are also Little Falls diamonds they're quite, uh, quite amazing, actually. The display here at the museum is very interesting, and as a matter of fact, the volunteers can help you find the area somewhere, I believe, up in this area of the map, where you yourself can still go digging for Little Falls diamonds. Katie Lyon is president of the Historical Society. She tells us a little about the former bank building. Yes, it's a Greek revival. Mm -hmm. Looks like a little Greek temple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very beautiful with the columns and the columns are solid rock or solid limestone and if you look at them you'll find little fossils in some of the limestone columns. <laughs> well, we're really the, the savior of all the old history of the community and people use it for lots of genealogical research as well as uh, giving us items that they can they would love to save but don't have room for anymore. Katie and other volunteers can help you plan your walking tour. Give them a call or pick up a copy of the neat little guidebook at one of the many shops in town or at the museum, which opens for the season May 29th. A great way to spend this beautiful Mother's Day that will make both mom and the kids happy is a trip to Moss Island. You can get there from Canal Place or take Route 169 from the Little Falls Thruway exit and head for Erie Canal Lock 17. Here you can see an old abandoned canal, or take a walk along the canal trail. If you're lucky, you might just see some boats going through Lock 17, which until recently was the highest lift lock in the world, at 40 and a half feet. But for some geological fun, cross over Lock 17 to explore Moss Island. This 14-acre natural wonder is home to a variety of mosses. But the main attraction is the towering rock forms and deeply carved potholes sculpted about 10,000 years ago by a raging river called the Eero Mohawk. Spend some time exploring some of the views from the island and seek out the potholes along the northern shore. Some potholes are as large as 15 feet in diameter and 30 feet deep and make for some great pictures and memories of Mother's Day. As we were leaving town last week, this diner caught our eye and being that we love diners as we do, we thought we'd come back this week and have lunch here. If you only have, let's say, half an hour for lunch, come here to Kristen's because when we came here today, we were served with lightning speed 
and uh, you'll find all kinds of locals here every day enjoying the fantastic food. You might even find Hank Brown, he comes here quite often. And if you should spend time here, be sure to order their homemade rice pudding after you've had your main entree. There's another island here in Little Falls. It's called Hanson Island. This island houses a business that is very important to the community, and uh, I'd never been inside it before. We're going to be going in there in a minute. I'm going to be uh, wearing another hairnet, so it's another hairnet visit. It's Salada and Red Rose Tea. For those of you who are sipping tea right now, whether it be hot tea or iced tea, the chances are that it came right from here because uh, the chances are you're drinking either Salada or Red Rose, and the only place in the country that manufactures those is right here in Little Falls. How many bags of tea leave here a day? Four million. That's a lot of tea. Stay tuned until the end of our tour because we have a special giveaway this morning, and uh, it's a tease, but it isn't tea. The company has been here over a hundred years. It has a long tradition, has a lot of excellent employees. They have a lot of pride and passion and uh, really love making tea. Okay, the products that we make here is the Red Rose branded tea and also the Slada branded tea. And then uh, uh, also Snapple uh, hot tea is made here too. And then in that Red Rose brand, we offer specialty teas, black teas, decaf teas. And then the Slada brand, we have the black teas also, but we have a huge assortment of green flavor teas. Just here in uh, Little Falls, just that we have a great uh, workforce. Uh, we have a lot of good brand names, but our people are uh, really are most important uh, to us. And they really understand the equipment, the process, and uh, just have a lot of pride in uh, a great workforce we have here in the Valley. We asked Glenn about his right-hand man. Okay, that's my son, Andrew. He's uh, nine years old, and uh, he's a great help uh, to me. He helps me uh, get very organized. He's a great help. I come down here and help him with papers and organize. My favorite part of this building is the factory. What about it? I like to see all the tea bags being made. There are a couple of memories that I have when it comes to uh, Red Rose Tea. One, of course, is opening the box and, oh, that marvelous fragrance. And then there's this Red Rose uh, tradition that's been going on for quite a few years. Inside every Red Rose Tea box is a, a figurine. And I think that my aunt must have collected all of them. Uh, I remember having this one. This one is from the endangered species, which is a bald eagle which is kind of appropriate for the Mohawk Valley. For the Enders family, whenever the uh, term special occasion is used, it means one thing. It means the Canal Side Inn here in Little Falls. We have been coming here since it opened, and uh, it is beyond a shadow of a doubt our place to celebrate anything special. And as a matter of fact, uh, the owner will be celebrating his 25th anniversary on May 19th of this year. It's been here for 25 years. We've been coming here that long. We're fortunate to be able to have this kind of a dining experience in the Mohawk Valley. If you come here today, and by the way, there are still a few reservations available for Mother's Day, uh, be sure to top off your meal with a dessert that is out of this world. It's Bananas Foster, and wow, is it ever great. Traveling around the Mohawk Valley, let's see what we can see.